In this video, we will discuss the final part on operations on strings. And in this part, we again will discuss three important string operations, which are the assignment for strings, adding of two strings, and adding literals and strings. So let's start with the first one, assignment for strings. Now talking about assignment for strings, it is possible to assign one string object to another. That means we can assign one string object to another string object. And also it is possible to assign a literal to a string object. You must have seen this in the examples that we have been taking, but it is important to understand clearly. So for example, here I have a string called readme and to it I am assigning the literal H-E-L-L-O, hello. And then I have another string here called copy here and to this I am assigning the string object readme. So whatever is in readme would be copied to this copy here as well. And here I am again declaring another string called ES and I say three comma and within single quotes E. That means the letter or the character E would be stored three times inside this string called ES. So in this example, we can see that we are assigning one string object to another. That is what we saw here. And then a literal to a string object. So we see the hello literal is assigned to the string called readme. So these two, we have seen how it works here. Okay, so we will combine all this and take a proper example at the end. Now let's move on to the next operation. So here next we have another very important operation that is adding two strings. Now a new string is created by concatenating the left hand operand and the right hand operand when two strings are added to one another. So whenever we talk about adding two strings, we are actually concatenating the left hand string with the right hand string. That means the string which is at the left hand side of the plus operator will be concatenated with the string that is there on the right hand side of the plus operator. So let's take some examples here. You can see we have another string called L string, which is assigned the literal value hello comma. And then I have another string called R string and it is also assigned a literal value called there. And I am defining another string here called readme. And to this, I am adding L string plus R string. So we can see these two strings are added, which means they are concatenated. So here we have the plus operator and whatever is there on the left hand side of plus, that is hello would be put here and then on the right hand side of the plus operator we have the r string which contains there so that will be concatenated here so readme would contain the concatenation of l string plus r string which is hello comma there and then next we have another way of adding string that is l string plus equal to r string so this is the same as L string plus R string or basically we are just going to add L string and R string and the concatenation of them would be stored inside L string. So that is another way of representing the addition. Okay, let's go to the next one now. Next we have adding literals and strings. So far we have seen how we add two string objects that is the concatenation. Now we will see how a string object and a literal can be added together. We can concatenate strings with literals, but when we mix strings and strings or character literals, at least one operand to each plus operator must be of the string type. Now, what does this mean? Let's see. So here we see that we have an example string called S1, which contains try. I am assigning the literal try to it. And again, there is another string called S2, to which I am assigning the literal new, N-E-W. And next, I am having a string called S3 and to this I am concatenating S1 plus the literal something plus S3. So we see we are adding the string object S1 and the literal something and this string object S3. Now what this line here means is that whenever we are mixing strings and literals, then beside each plus operator, at least one should be of a string type. So we see here we have a plus operator and beside this plus operator, we have a string type that is S1. And again, here we have another plus operator and even beside this plus operator, there is a string type which is S3. So this is a perfectly correct addition. Okay. Similarly, we have S4 and to it, I am saying S3 plus every day. So here also we can see we have a plus operator here and beside the plus operator, there is a string type S3 and we can add this literal like this. So this also is perfectly fine. But if you take this case here to string S5, I am trying to add two literals try and something. So we have this plus operator here and beside the plus operator, we do not have a string object or a string type. Instead, they are both literals. So this kind of addition cannot be done. So that is what this line means here. So no string operand. 
This is also a very important thing that you should keep in mind while adding strings. Again, another example here, string s6 equal to try plus something plus s2. So here we see this plus s2 is fine because beside this plus operator there is the string type s2 but we have another plus operator here and besides this we do not have any string type. We have both literals on either sides. So this one cannot work. So we can't add string literals. So this also would throw an error. So always remember when we are mixing strings and literals on at least one side of the plus operator there must be a string type. Alright, so keeping these things in mind and keeping the previous two operations also that we have studied in mind, let us take a complete example showing all this. Okay, so here on Visual Studio Code, I have written a program for you which demonstrates the usage of all the operations that we have discussed in this lecture. So here as you can see, I have a string called S1 and to it, I am assigning the literal its space, ITS. And then I have another string called S2 and to this, I am assigning the literal MY space and then s3 contains dream space okay and in the string s4 i am performing the addition here i am adding s1 plus s2 plus s3 plus the literal to get my research paper and then space over here so this is again a fine kind of addition because you see beside each plus operator i am having a string type okay and then in string s5 i am storing the literal published space and then in string S6, I am storing S4. Now what does S4 contain? S4 contains the concatenation of S1 plus S2 plus S3 plus this literal over here. And S6 plus equal to S5. So this basically means that S6 is equal to S6 plus S5. Now what is S6? S6 contains S4 which is all this concatenation and plus S5. Now what is S5? S5 contains published. And then to the string S7, I am saying 3 comma and within single quotes E. So that means the letter or character E will be stored three times. So it is basically E, E, E. And in string S8, I am storing the literal in the I. And then in string S9, I am concatenating S6 plus S8 plus S7. So you might want to just pause and take a look at it to understand what would the final string S9 contain. Okay, so if you have taken a look at it, let us run the program and see what is the output. So the name of the program is st underscore addition dot cpp. So let me run the program. Okay, so as I run the program, you can see it prints, it's my dream to get my research paper published in the IEEE. So the way we have assigned and the way we have added strings to each other and also the way we have added strings with literals have worked correctly. And you see this S7 contains E three times and that was concatenated at the end. So after this I over here, that three E's were printed and because of that IEEE got printed correctly. Okay, so that sums up our example that shows the assignment of strings, addition of strings and addition of strings with literals. Okay, so that brings us to the end of operations on strings. I hope this lecture was clear to you. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.